Hi, my name is Tom Jennings. I'm a practicing physician and president of Medical Net Systems. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity today to discuss some of our ideas with you. In this video, I'd like to discuss our patient auto history, also known as the Patient Generated Medical History, or PGMH. With the Patient Generated Medical History, the workload of taking history is transferred to the patient, saving the physician time. Also, the patient generated medical history empowers the patient to tell his or her story, further engaging the patient in his, his or her health care. The patient generated medical history provides the physician with a comprehensive medical history, including a thorough history of present illness, medication list, hospitalization and surgeries, allergies, social history, occupational history, drug and alcohol history, diseases of adulthood, preventive medicine, and review of systems. In the history, there are over 400 categories and 11,000 questions. The history covers over a dozen specialties. The patient-generated medical history contains response types, including diagrams to enable the patient to tell his or her story. Here's an example of a history of present illness. Would it be nice to have this, have this kind of history before walking into an exam room? As a result, the patient-generated medical history jumpstarts the patient encounter. With the patient history in hand, the physician can counsel the patient based on the patient's responses rather than spending time interrogating the patient. Here's how the patient-generated medical history works. The patient answers questions about his or her history at home or the physician office. The physician reviews and edits the history and then based on the patient's responses, counsels the patient and then completes the encounter. Patient-generated history uses adaptive questionnaire technology. With this technology, the patient is asked a general question, and positive responses result in follow-up questions, the kind of questions physicians would normally ask. This results in in-depth questioning of the topics pertinent to each patient, and in essence, a customized questionnaire for each patient. In a paper questionnaire, the patient answers a question and then goes on to the next one. In this case, the patient answers yes to question number 39. Was it yes to smoking, cigars, or chewing tobacco? In the patient-generated medical history, the, using the adaptive questionnaire technology, when the patient answers yes to smoking, he's asked a series of questions about smoking. The patient-generated medical history improves how the physician interacts with patients who have high-risk behaviors. For instance, in the smoking questions, there's a question that lists all the consequences of smoking. So as the patient's answering this question, he's reminded of these consequences and is primed for a discussion of smoking with the physician during the encounter. In addition, the physician can use the patient's own responses about smoking to try to convince the patient to stop smoking. This is a very effective technique, and as an ophthalmologist, I've been successfully able to convince many people to stop smoking. And this is also very professionally satisfying. For more information about the patient-generated medical history, please see the patient auto history video uh, demo on www.medicalnetsystems.com. Thank you.